It goes without saying that the popular business television show Shark Tank is a fun and educational way to see how investors think. Well, our sponsor, the Another Bite Podcast, is here each week to delve deeper into Shark Tank episodes, helping entrepreneurs like you by offering their own unique thoughts, spin-off companies, critiques, and even talking with some of the folks who pitch to the sharks and live to tell the tale. From squatty potties to mench on a bench and even that weird golf club you use as a toilet, which has definitely been my favorite episode so far, I do highly recommend that one. Another Bite takes a fresh look at some of your favorite episodes and answers what these entrepreneurs are up to now. It's an amazing show for getting a more in-depth look at how businesses are built. And no matter where you are in your journey of work or business ownership, you can be sure you'll walk away with a fresh perspective. So listen to Another Bite, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, wherever you get your podcasts. This episode is brought to you by Klaviyo, the platform that powers smarter digital relationships. With Klaviyo, you can activate all your customer data in real time, connect seamlessly with your customers across all channels, guide your marketing strategy with AI-powered insights, recommendations, and automated assistance, deliver experiences that feel individually designed at scale, and grow your business faster. Power smarter digital relationships with Klaviyo. Learn more at klaviyo.com slash Spotify. That's K-L-A-V-I-Y-O dot com slash Spotify. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1171, Seven Smart Ways to Fund Business Expansion by Courtney Luke of arrestyourdebt.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host here, and I'm with you every single day of the week, helping you to optimize all aspects of your work life And today we're going to hear from Courtney Luke of Arrest Your Debt, and uh, I'll tell you more about the site after the post. So for now, let's get to it and optimize your life. Seven Smart Ways to Fund Business Expansion by Courtney Luke of ArrestYourDebt.com You've been running your small business for a while now. You're making a profit and have concluded that it's time to expand to cater to the needs of a more vast client base. You want to widen your scope, add more employees, and make more money. You're now ready for the next stage in your company's growth. The good news is that you've already established a business with reliable revenue streams. The bad news is that this expansion will cost money, and lots of it. Other bad news is that you don't have the funds. But worry no more. Before your big dreams get dashed by an empty bank account, you can fund your business growth through these means. 1. Take a business loan. A business loan can be an excellent way to fund your business expansion. Some banks and lenders are willing to take the risk, given your reliable revenue streams as a small business owner. You, however, need to have some things in mind to kickstart applying for short-term business loans. Start by ensuring your business plan includes all the information for lenders to understand how the loan will be used and repaid. The more transparent your business plan is, the better your chances of approval. You should also find a lender who understands small businesses like yours. Many financial institutions cater exclusively to large corporations or individuals with high net worth. They pay little attention to the needs of small businesses. So ask colleagues for recommendations about where they've gotten their loans if possible. Also, never borrow more than you need because it may put undue stress on you. Finally, always ensure that every dollar spent gets returned before taking another out, no matter how tempting it may seem. Two, an equipment loan can be helpful in large purchases. An equipment loan is a loan for buying business assets such as equipment and machinery. For example, you'd need equipment to serve your needs in the new place to expand your business. You can take a loan to cover the cost to save money on this. This way you're not using your funds or a business loan you've taken to finance the assets that will help your business in the location. Instead, you're using another loan to help you iron your finances. Three, identify unnecessary money leaks and seal them. As your business grows, you'll likely have more employees with their ideas about how to spend your money. Unfortunately, if they don't have the company's best interests in mind, they can be a source of unnecessary spending and money leaks. Money leaks are expenditures that don't bring any value to your business or its customers. They take away from your profit margins and can be tough to spot unless you've got an eagle eye for detail or have someone who does. The key is ensuring that every dollar spent contributes directly toward growing revenue or reducing costs. When you spot these leaks, seal them off and stay on top of your finances. Four, consider private equity, although you might give up some control. 
If you're looking to fund business expansion, consider private equity. This type of investment comes with risks and rewards, but it can be a good option if you want to grow your company without giving up control. In the US, there are two types of private equity, venture capital and buyout. Venture capital firms invest in early stage companies with high growth potential. Buyout funds focus on acquiring mature businesses or taking them public. Both options provide investors with upside potential and downside protection from financial risks, like market downturns, and operational risks, like poor management. You can consider either of these choices to fund the expansion if you want to keep your business and see it grow. Five, renegotiate present monthly expenses to save costs. The next step is to renegotiate your monthly expenses. It can include the rent of your offices. If you're leasing premises, you can negotiate with landlords to reduce the rent in exchange for services contributing to their profit. The same applies if you rent equipment, such as printers and computers. You can also negotiate staff salaries for the time being. While this is a risky move, it's a way to know members who can sacrifice the present for the future when your finances bloom again. In addition to staff salaries, you may need to negotiate other expenses, such as logistics. You can also consider more energy-saving methods rather than electricity. For example, you can make do with solar systems or use more energy-conserving bulbs in your offices and warehouses. Six, get previous clients to buy more. You already have a solid customer base. You're keeping them happy and they keep coming back to you. You need more customers to grow and you can use your present network of customers for this. You can ask your clients to refer your business to their network. They've already researched your business, so they know what they're getting into when they hire your company or recommend it to others. Plus, their opinion carries weight with those looking for similar services or products. Doing this will expand your customer base and fund business expansion over time. And seven, consider partnership with bigger businesses. If you're interested in expanding, this may be the right time to look at partnering with bigger companies. It can benefit both parties as they can share resources and establish mutually beneficial relationships. For example, you could consider selling your products through larger retailers or distributors with more reach than you have. You can also make use of their physical presence in your target location. The first step is finding the right partner for your business expansion needs. Start by asking yourself, what type of company would benefit from working with you? When you decide this, Research and shortlist potential partners online or through referrals from trusted contacts. These contacts could be your friends, family members, or people working in similar industries. You might also want to attend networking events where other entrepreneurs gather so that they can share their experiences. When you decide on the best partner, reach out to them with a flashy offer and negotiate the terms. Conclusion. There are many options for funding business expansion. While talking with your bank might be a good place to start, it's not the end. You can reach out to your business partners for help or consider private equity firms helping small businesses grow bigger. Business expansion is an opportunity to grow and hit new heights, and it doesn't have to be a challenging process. You just listened to the post titled Seven Smart Ways to Fund Business Expansion by Courtney Luke of arrestyourdebt.com. You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know that they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose nuts.com for their business needs from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work that we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at nuts.com slash OWD. So, Go check out all the delicious options at nuts.com slash OWD. You'll get that free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's nuts.com slash OWD. Your business is buried in manual work, taking forever to close the books. If this is you, consider three numbers, 37,000, 25, 1. 
37,000. That's the number of businesses which have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. 25. NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less, close their books in days, not weeks, and drive down costs. One, because your business is one of a kind, so you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. Manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. NetSuite is giving you the power of having all your information in one place, helping you to make better, more driven decisions as a business owner. Everything you need to grow, all in one place. And you really can't put a price on the power and efficiency that comes with having all of your processes streamlined like this. This is truly an unprecedented offer. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist, designed to give you consistently excellent performance, absolutely free, at netsuite.com startup. That's netsuite.com startup to get your own KPI checklist. netsuite.com startup. And a big thank you to Courtney, whose site, Arrest Your Debt, is a wide-ranging personal finance website, but it does have a specific focus, and that is helping first responders and people struggling with debt. Courtney founded the site with her husband, Ryan, and they have made it their mission to help people get out of debt and start building wealth on any income. Since 2009, when they started their journey toward financial literacy, they've been featured on MarketWatch, Forbes, Fox Business, Experian, MSN, Ladders, and USA Today. So come by arrestyourdebt.com for a lot more. And thank you so much to Courtney for letting us share her work here. But that's it for another edition of Optimal Work Daily. I hope you enjoyed the post and that you're having a great Friday out there. And I will, of course, be back again with you tomorrow for the Saturday edition. And that is where your optimal life awaits.